amid growing concerns over the restrictive measures aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19. Singing Bishop Lawrence Roll says there needs to be a more comprehensive plan to calm the panic and address the needs of people who are struggling to survive. He said it's evident Bahamians are growing wary of restrictions as many are now in survival mode. I can tell you in this inner city, it's unbelievable. As a leader, I think every real leader at this time of Friday, you can feel it. You can literally, you feel that burden in your soul when you see the people. And sometimes you gotta, you gotta really be serious to get them food out because you know what it is, you feeding and you hungry. He also insisted the country's leaders need to come up with a proper plan to coexist with the virus. And we can't let no coronavirus block the next generation from being doctors and lawyers. Oh, hell to the no, or no hell. Real talk. Roll, who operates a soup kitchen from his church on 2nd Street in the Grove, says on a nearly daily basis, he serves up to 300 meals a day and about 1,000 meals a week. He says while he has operated the program during the entire pandemic, the needs have become greater in recent weeks. I never seen nothing like this in my born days. Two and three hundred people and the offering three dollars. Send a message out. I said the offering is three dollars. Sometimes the offering is five dollars. I say, Jesus, I lift it to God and I said, nevertheless, I thank you. He says the cost of running the soup kitchen continues to climb and he has had to rely on donations to meet the increased demand. You could imagine 50 plate is nearly $30. Sometimes the food didn't cook. 11 to take the food up, no plates. Because the plates is too expensive. While I could get 125 plate for like 12 or $15. Now 125 plate for nearly $60. Real talk. And the thing about it is, the plates, the moment you put the food in the plates with the gravy, oh Lord Jesus, it seemed to be like the bottom dropping out. Now, Roll says despite the difficulties, he and his team will continue to do what they can to meet the needs of those in need. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.